If you want, it's Emily Fox. So today's video is gonna be the beginning of my breeding vlog for December. I mean, I have like one or two days left for November, but December most likely. I have two books uh, especially that I wanna read. They're newer books, but I might get around to reading more depending on how things go. So um, we have The House in the Cerulean Sea, which is a new release, a fantasy one, which is going to be part of my Goodreads reading challenge for 2021. So I might as well get it out of the way right now. Uh, from what I know, it, Everyone gives it five stars all the time, first off, which is why it caught my eye. I didn't think it was going to be my cup of tea because it seems like it's going to be a little bit like a children's book, but it is an adult fantasy, so we'll see how that goes. I'm getting vibes of We Were Children by Shana, Shana McGuire, um, like magical kind of rejected kids that go to this house, school, I don't know. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, everyone keeps saying it's super wholesome and... Let's be real, I could use some wholesomeness. I feel like we could all use some wholesomeness right now. So I'm gonna give it a shot as an audiobook. That way, if I'm kind of so-so about it, it's easier to go through it. Slash the library waiting list was shorter as we're kind of getting used to me saying all the time. So yes, I have the audiobook of that one on my phone. Uh, as far as physical book, I will be reading The Burning God, which the last book in the uh, Puppy War series. Yes, absolutely. I have been dying to finish uh, this book and I have been kind of unlucky, I feel like, with last book and trilogies. I feel like I'm. it's always the weakest one of the three. I might still enjoy it, but I feel like it's always the, the least, my least favorite one. Um, but I've been told that it's actually super good, so I'm very, very excited. Hopefully I give it five stars. Um, yes, Adult Fantasy 2. Uh, after that, I might get my hands around because I do feel like I go through uh, audiobooks faster than physical books. The holidays, which <laughs> is again so not my cup of tea. It's a kind of romance, holiday romance, but hear me out. Uh, it's someone reliving, is it their, her day or something? Christmas holiday? So that's why I'm reading it. Um, yeah, it's a contemporary romance, but we'll see. I mean, it might put me in the mood for the holidays. So yeah, otherwise I'm currently also listening to How to Change Your Mind, which is a nonfiction, but I kind of go back and forth uh, whenever I'm done with another book and I'm waiting for another one, I'm going to that one. So we'll see how it goes uh, this week. Wish me luck. Let's do this. So we are day three in this reading vlog and it's about time I update you. I don't know why it's looking so dark. It's like five o'clock, but it looks like it's nighttime outside. Um, look, real talk. Uh, I wanted to update you because I'm about almost 40% into the audiobook and I'm enjoying it. I just was so unsure because of the whole like children's book kind of feel, which definitely feeling it. Uh, you're following this man who seems to have a very boring life and he goes to this orphanage to make sure everything is in order. He definitely seems to be like very straight edge. And it looks like the kids will like win him over and it might be kind of romancy. I'm not sure, but I'm okay with it. This is so not my usual cup of tea, but it's it's working at the moment. Uh, we'll see how I feel about how uh, the rest, you know, 60% left will work for me. But so far, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, uh, as far as the uh, Burning God book, I am 20% into it and it's, it's good already. Um, I feel like I was nervous. At uh, the beginning it's a little confusing because it's like a flashback, um, but I, I'm i hopeful it's gonna work out for me. Hopefully the rest of the book goes that well, but yes, so far so good. I just got this tiara-ish <laughs> in the mail. I need to do my hair and like makeup for this. That would be a great photo shoot, no? You know when that happens and you look at your double chin and question all your life? Yeah, this is me right now. <laughs> So let's see if you can read Steve because I just saw him. Let's grab a peanut. Let's go open the door. Do you see him? Just don't mind the branches. So he wasn't trusting me, so I went back inside and we'll see if he is more interested. <laughs> He's getting so fluffy. And he's still dumb. <laughs> you forgot the peanut, come on. It's okay, we like him for his looks, not for his brain, clearly. But 
one or the other squirrels eventually will come and pick up the peanut. Okay, so we are now two days later and I made some great progress. I'm at 50%. Let me just insert the clip. Things are so good. I am loving the book right now. Um, I, I'm talking about Burning God, obviously. Um, oh my god. I was so nervous that I wasn't going to, you know, live up to my expectations, even though they were not too high, just because, again, I have been disappointed by so many last book and series, but so far, oh my god. Like, I, I don't want to, like, sp not spoil it, but, like, ruin it by being excited and then it's gonna flop. So I'm just gonna say, so far, it looks like a five stars. Um, I just finished also Cerulean Sea book. I enjoyed it so much more than I expected. It is wholesome. I am still gonna say it's like, oop, I'm still gonna say it's like kind of a children's book. Let me just plug my phone because it's dying. Um, yeah, it's still definitely like children's book, but I don't know. I guess I was in the mood for something wholesome. So we're just gonna like go for it. No judgment. I enjoyed it. So I think I'm gonna give it four stars. Ooh, I think I'm gonna give myself like a day or two more to like digest it, but I don't know. I enjoyed it more than I thought. So, um, so far so good. And tomorrow I'm gonna be starting uh, Inner Holidays, which is <laughs> my Christmassy read of the year, I guess. So uh, I'm excited for that one. I might actually start it tonight. I need to wash my hair. So yeah, it's a little late, so we'll talk about it in the day, but I just needed to say that one, I finished one book, and two, Burning God is so good. So good. I might read a little bit more before bed just because I'm that excited. So things have been very, very active. I'm trying to finish, obviously, this vlog, the book, which is the main point of this vlog. I'm currently editing videos while eating some leftovers, which there you go, some leftovers. And uh, because, you know, December, I've been posting a video every even day. So uh, yeah, it's a little cuckoo. But um, today I wanted to do a thing because I keep seeing my neighbors' trees, Christmas trees, through the window at night and it's making me a little sad because I don't have any decoration. Uh, I was hoping to get a tree this year, but you know, pandemic. So I'm gonna do like I did last year. I have some fairy lights. I don't have tape because I ordered some online and it still hasn't arrived. So I'm gonna use whatever tape I have. I'll switch it up and make it prettier <laughs> whenever it arrives, but I wanna put it up today. So we're doing it today. And then after that, I'm gonna finish the book because I have about, uh, I think like 10% left or something. So I can definitely finish this tonight and I'm really enjoying it. So I think I'm 80 something percent, like almost 90%. So yeah, let me just eat while it's hot and we'll do the tree, <laughs> if we can call it that. So I might not see any squirrels right now, but you can see that squirrels are definitely still walking around <laughs> in the yard. Maybe I can just try and leave them some like peanuts on the picnic table, which I still need to remove the snow from. But yeah, they still come, but not the cat, sadly. I just went to my P.O. box to get my packages and someone bought the cat treats but I didn't realize I put this humongous package. So if the cat comes back, he's gonna get fat. Ta-da! This is my Christmas tree. It's very, very fancy, but hey, at least I have one. Okay, so I wanted to update you because I have finished The Burning God, which I'm super happy about. Um, Five stars. I can't say too much because it is the last book in a trilogy, but that ending though, that ending though. Um, didn't see it coming. I am pleasantly surprised. I have mentioned how the last book in trilogies I've been pretty unlucky with. I just never feel like they're satisfying. I feel like authors leave too much opened. Uh, too many things are not answered and they kind of just leave room for more in that world, but not in a good way. I loved it, seriously loved it. I would be very happy if the author comes out with more books from that world, you know, years later or whatever, just companion novels. I will read them happily. <laughs> you can see, <laughs> I mentioned I didn't have real tape, scotch tape, so this is like green tape, painting tape. Anyway, um, I'll switch it whenever I receive <laughs> the one I ordered. Uh, but yes, absolutely amazing. I think the main character is very interesting, very unique. I, 
yeah, I'm gonna have more thoughts in my wrap up or in whatever end of the year video this video goes into because it's so good, but I just, just finished it. So I feel like I need a few minutes to digest it, you know? Ooh. Um, I have about 30 minutes left in the audiobook of In a Holidays, so I can tell you quickly what I think about it, and then I'll tell you, uh, and then I'll go and shower, take off my makeup and stuff, and I'll just update you on the last 30 minutes. But so far, I feel like it's a great combination of 2020 and the holidays and just my mood. It's kind of working for me. Um, the fact that there's a little bit of sci-fi, you know, reliving her holiday over and over again. Uh, it's definitely a romance, which I knew. Um, there are a few scenes that made me cringe, but you know, I'm pretty a cringe, uh, easily cringed. I cringe easily. Doesn't matter. You get it. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping the ending won't be too overly sickly sweet, but it's okay. Like, it's not an amazing read, obviously, but it's light, it's fun, and so far I don't have any big issues with it. So, yeah, we'll see how it ends, though. I just realized I never finished this vlog. Um, I just finished the audiobook of In a Holidays, and yeah, the ending was absolutely sickly sweet. Um, kind of ruined it a little bit for me. <laughs> not that, you know, it was going to be my all-time preferred book, but I think, like I mentioned, it's like the right timing for me to enjoy it for what it is. Um, it's different than the other books with the same throat that I love, so I'll just take it. It's fine. I mean, it's not over three stars. I don't know what I'm gonna give it, but it was fine. It was perfect for right now, you know, holidays and stuff. Did I mention what it was about? Uh, basically, this woman goes to uh, this cabin with her family and then her parents' best friends and their family. And she's been doing that every year, forever. And uh, there are two sons. There's her. Yeah, so that's, that's all I'm going to say because there's not that much that happens. But I will read anything with the throat of someone reliving their day, their lives, or their week, apparently, for that one. So... I'm happy with just that. <laughs> That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of messy vlog and uh, putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. I am posting a video every two days for December, so keep an eye out. Bye.